Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Everything OneNote. Today I'm going to show you how you can link documents from your Microsoft Teams into your OneNote. To do that, I'm going to start from Teams, and this is just a demo team that I have set up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the File section at the top here and go to Class Materials. In here, I'm going to look for the document that I want to link to. So here, let's go with this one, Living and Non-Living. On the three dots or the show actions next to the document and i have this option here to copy link so i'm going to click that and go copy and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to my OneNote. so in here i'm going to have to write something like um click here to open the document okay and then what i can do is i can kind of Highlight over the word here, right click, go link, and paste. What will then happen is students can hover over that, they can click on the link. I can then choose to open that in Teams, and we give it a second, and the document will load and open up. Okay, there's another way of kind of embedding it so that they can see the document as well. So to do that, if I just close this down pop back into my class materials folder and I click next to the document again, I go to open in SharePoint. Okay, once I'm in SharePoint, okay, I want to look for the document. So there it is there, living and non-living. So I want to actually click to open it this time. At the top, there is the URL bar. What I want to do is I want to click on that and then I want to right click to copy the URL. I then go back to my OneNote, find the space, and paste it in. The thing to keep in mind here is that because it's in the class materials folder, it's actually view only, so students kind of can't um, click to open this document and make changes to it. Um, however, the they can kind of still click here on the living and non-living link, and that will take them to Teams to still view it, and then they can kind of download it from there. But if it's just something you want them to look at, you know, if this is not something they actually have to fill in, it's a great little way of kind of linking in from something that you have stored in Teams. The beauty of it is the permissioning in that if that I have, if I go to the team that is linked to the OneNote, that all those students are already permissioned because they have access to that Microsoft Teams, they also have access to the OneNote that is there as well. So I don't have to worry about Anyway, I hope you find that helpful and we'll see you again soon. Cheers.